Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making sabayat, Somali and chapati. So come and join me please to my kitchen. So what I've got here is three cups of plain flour and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna just mix the dry ingredients together. Mixing a spatula spoon, whatever you like. Mix it together. Once I mix the dry ingredients together, I'm going to now use my machine and I've got here two cups of hot water straight from the kettle, but I poured about a cup and a half. So now I'm going to put the machine on and I'm going to mix the, the ingredients together, the dry ingredients and the water. And I'm going to add the rest of the water here now, as you can see, guys. And yes, now I'm going to put the dough in on the on the table here. And guys, if you're if you're those in um sticky don't distress do not worry just add more flour because sometimes it could be very sticky so what you just do the method i've just done just put some flowers on the table and then just mix it keep mixing the dough till you get the right you know texture of the dough like you don't like you don't want it to be sticky basically so now i'm going to round them make them into a round ball shape set them on the side put Whatever you do, make sure that before you put it, you have a flour. If you put it on the table, just put a bit of flour on the table. If you put it on a tray, just put a bit of flour on the tray. Don't just don't just put the dough with no flour on where you put it. So these are the dough here. I made them into round shapes. So my next step here is I've got ghee butter here. You can use um. A normal butter you can use some flour you can use a vegetable oil whatever you like whatever is available in your home doesn't matter really the only reason I'm using a gear butter because I like the smell and the flavor that it gives so now I'm going to flatten my uh, sabayat here as, as you could guys see I'm flattening my sabayat it doesn't matter if it goes wrong shape it looks you know a bit funny don't stress about it again, you know, it's a process of learning. If you're first time making this, it doesn't matter. As long as you get the right um, texture of the dough, you're fine. Now, I'm going to put one teaspoon of um, ghee butter, put around my um, flat sabayat bread here. So now I'm going to fold them just fold them like that now stuff I fold them And that's how you should do and how that's how it should look like so now it's time to roll them again to make them flat again and yeah make them flat again make sure that you leave a rest when you when you do the round shape you keep them to rest for like five ten minutes cover them and now I'm going to make it flat this is very easy to be honest not hard um you probably people might probably find hard like flattening it out but it doesn't matter what shape you get because even myself sometimes i don't get you know all round shape no it doesn't matter to be honest so now it's time to cook it and make sure your um your pan is on a high heat at first, and then you turn it down to low heat or medium heat, right? So I'm just gonna leave it to cook. 
one side i'm just gonna put a bit of oil make sure that you put your oil whenever you're turning each side just like dip your spoon in the oil and just go over it not like taking a whole spoon of oil and putting over it as you can, like the way i'm doing right now basically so and then you turn it over again and yeah you, and make sure that you keep adding it because we don't want it to be cooked on one side and the other side to not be cooked or like to burn from one side so we just want to get all to be the same color looks the same you know so here it is that's it that's how it should look like now this is my sabayet somali chapati and it's very easy guys i hope you enjoyed watching my um recipes and if you like any of my recipes please share like and subscribe and do follow me on all my social media accounts thank you for watching see you next time for a new recipe Bye.